Kate and the Queen arrived in style to the London event. They made an appearance at a high-tech university in central London, King's College's Strand Campus, which is housed in a set of five buildings known as Bush House that housed the BBC. Queen Elizabeth stuck with her signature bright colours in a pink cashmere coat with a matching hat, and Kate chose a grey Catherine Walker coat dress with a black fascinator. Believe it or not, this is Kate Middleton's first solo appearance with the Queen. It was nearly a year after William and Kate were married before the monarch stepped out with her granddaughter-in-law without him, and even then, her own husband was by her side. Kate attended a visit to Leicester as part of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee tour in March 2012, but Prince Philip was also part of the entourage. Kate and Queen Elizabeth took time for a tour of the grounds and to meet with students and faculty. Kate and her grandmother-in-law got tours of the facilities and a rooftop terrace, and they took in a robotics demonstration about how sensors made from textiles can measure useful information about the body. King's College is the fourth oldest university in England, and it has been the center of some major scientific breakthroughs, including the discovery of DNA and technological work around the development of TVs and cell phones. We can't help but remember Meghan Markle's first solo outing with the Queen, though. Why did it take so long for Queen Elizabeth to do a one-on-one -on -one with Kate Middleton, as opposed to Meghan? The two of them made an appearance together about a month after she and Prince Harry got married, putting the Queen's official stamp of approval on the union. Given how friendly Kate and Queenie were on their outing, we're sure it's nothing personal. She was probably just going out of her way to make Meghan feel included in the family. Her grandsons have married two very lovely ladies, and she probably enjoys spending time with both of them equally.